I uh, decided today we're going to try something. I'm going to go to the grocery store on a Sunday during the day. And not that I'm trying to cause problems, I just want to show why going to the grocery store during daylight hours and on a weekend can be problematic when you're a wheelchair user. Now, actually, hang on a second. Before we get too crazy here, I want to get the van warming up because it's cold outside. And, um,. My lungs and spasms and other things do not appreciate the cold air, so let's get the van preheated. Alright, so that thing's warming up now. I, uh, I've got my remotes for the remote start and the lift on this lanyard. And uh, I just wear it around my neck like this, that way I've got everything right here that I need. So, I'm going to be using the Bounder today. It actually makes things a little bit easier, because... As you're running around through the grocery store in a giant chair that's kind of loud, people tend to get out of your way. Like, the crowds part a little bit as you go moving. And also the seat elevator on it makes it really handy to grab stuff. But the parking lot's going to be an issue, I know that. And, uh, well, I don't know. I'm going to get the camera all set up on the chair. It's one setup that films everything all around me. And then later in post, I can change the camera angle. So I'm going to get that thing set up, let the van warm up, and uh, then we're going to head over there. We're going to head over there and uh, see how this goes. Maybe it'll be perfect. That would actually be great. But regardless, I still want to show you how I shop for groceries by myself. Usually when I come here in the middle of the night, it's hard to find disabled parking. So I'm pretty sure right now today uh, we will be parking on the other end of the parking lot. Or maybe around back in the loading area. Looks like there might be one disabled spot way over there. What a cluster. Okay, those ones are full. Nope, no parking spaces. So, let's go over by the pizza place and see if there's one over there. The other thing I like about this van is it's so large that uh, people tend to get out of your way. All right, looks like one, there's one here. It's pretty short though. Actually, if I park in that spot, I'm gonna be sticking way out. Yeah, that Subaru would be hanging out if it was parked in that spot. All right, uh, next. Wow, these are tiny parking spaces. That one's not even wide enough. Are you kidding? Okay, here we go. There's one. Why are they... Okay, apparently they've installed these posts now, and they've shortened up the spaces so that even a regular car can't fit in them without hanging way out. So the only spots I can use that are proper size are in front of the store. Actually, there's one over here I could potentially use, but there's someone parked in the loading zone. Nope, that one's also short. Okay, let's go around behind the store, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope, we're good, we're good. There's one right here. And the cranky geese are even here to greet me. Okay. This is going to be fun. Getting across this parking lot with all these cars buzzing around. I'm, uh... I'm going to make sure I have my hand on the horn, I guess. <laughs> wow. Man, this hoodie makes me look fat. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Actually, I think the camera might not clear the door. this software resulted in some of the camera angles not working out the way I wanted and there's these weird parallax warping errors and things like that so just a heads up if you do get motion sick on the little preview window on my screen it looks a little funky so I don't know how this is gonna scale up if you're watching on a TV or something like that but yeah just so you know there's gonna be a few spots of this that may be a little motion sensitive triggering or something like that but yeah, now you know Now usually when I come to this store, even before the whole bag ban thing happened, I always go straight to this one department and grab a cardboard box. Over where they sell the aluminum foil and the saran wrap, there's some perfectly sized boxes that'll fit in my lap. And plastic bags tend to like slide off your lap. I know some people hang them on the handles on the back of their chair, but I don't do that. I just get a box and put it in my lap. And I found that's the easiest way to uh, run around the store and grab stuff. When they stock the shelves at this particular store, a lot of times they cut the top and the sides of the boxes off. But for some reason I've found, always with the aluminum foil and the saran wrap, they leave the boxes intact and just cut the top off. So I usually try to find one that is almost empty, and if not, I'll just empty everything out onto the shelf, and then I'll grab the box. They're nice double layered cardboard and sit perfectly on my lap.
Yeah. What? hard to tell from the shot but I'm using the seat elevator to lift up because the things that I buy or a couple of them rather are always right in the very upper corner of the dairy case for some reason so the seat elevator on the bounder comes in really handy for that actually the f3 goes tall enough as well it's just a little bit slower and I found as you're sitting there waiting for the thing to raise up and down a lot of times people don't know what you're doing and they can't see you moving because it's moving so slowly so they'll like pack in right behind you or in front of you or like try to reach over you and stuff so that's why I like the bounder it's a giant chair and it raises quickly and people are scared of it. So they don't necessarily get as close. another example of something I've kind of learned over the time over the years shopping occasionally there's stuff I need to get to but there's like people standing in the way and I found a lot of times it's easier just to come back later when those people probably aren't standing there instead of like asking them to move especially in a busy grocery store so I wound up doing a few more loops around the store than I originally wanted to but it results in less having to actually talk to people and stuff I know, I know it sounds super antisocial not wanting to talk to people but I found usually when I ask for something or, you know, say, hey, can I get in here or whatever, it'll be like, oh, well, I'll be done in a minute. So you end up sitting there waiting anyway. So it's usually just easier to pass by and circle back around in a few minutes or whatnot.
feet under my tires, then I can't get out of their way because it'll break their toes. <laughs> oh, I work in rehab. Those things weigh 450. Me plus yeah. this chair is 835 yeah. pounds. Yeah, 450, 800. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually work with a lady. She's 93. She ran over her own foot in the chair. Oh, fun. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't usually come during daylight hours, but it's usually emptier at night. Go ahead, because I want to come in. Oh, you can come in. No, I... Oh, you're going to stand in line? <coughs> yeah. I only have one thing. Can you turn off the scale? Okay. grocery store and actually a lot of them the pin pads at the checkout counters are so high that they're really hard to reach and the aisles are super narrow and whatnot they usually have one like extra wide aisle for wheelchair users but it's not wide enough for your chair and someone in a shopping cart to go past so then you end up bumping into people with their shopping carts and all this other stuff so I usually go to self-checkout 
then I can just scan everything myself and the pin pads are a lot lower and easier to reach. But at this store, it's hit or miss. I'll ask them to turn off the scale because usually I just scan things and put it right back in the box on my lap. That way I don't have to reach down and put it on the scale and do that whole thing. Well, this guy, I asked him to do it and he's like, no, I can't do that, I'm not supposed to. So it's hit or miss. Usually you can scan three items without putting them on the scale and then every time they have to reset it. So it's kind of obnoxious, but uh, like I said, hit or miss. Some stores will do it, some won't. It just depends on where you're at. Here. It shouldn't be turning that off. at the proper height on the other registers, I could use those, but usually they're like a race. Right, yeah. Yeah, the ones over there are not super great. They're also super dim over there, so the light glares off of them. Well, there's ADA code for that stuff, so that's why I come over here and it's usually easier to get turn off that scale. I need to back up a little bit out here. Hmm? I need to back up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yep. here I like touch my face or something and I realize there's hot dog water on my hands so I look down and realize the little package of the uh, cheese smokies that I bought had ripped open so I have to turn around and go back into the store and uh, get those replaced luckily it hadn't leaked too much though and it hadn't soaked too many of the groceries
Okay, so that actually wasn't too bad. I think I'm gonna start doing all my shopping in the bounder. I don't normally do this, or I don't normally shop in this chair, but it made a huge difference. Normally when you're sitting closer to the ground, it takes a lot more, excuse me, excuse me, I need to get through type of thing. But this thing, I think they see it and, um, and uh, they just have like a, uh, a lizard brain reaction to get out of the way. It's a giant thing coming towards them. <laughs> oh. All right, success. So that's about as much stuff as uh, I can carry at once, which that's maybe a third of the shopping that I actually need to do, but meh, better than nothing. That actually went fairly well. Um, yeah, successful trip to the grocery store. Only problem is those um, the little sausage things were leaking. They're the little cheese smokies, and uh, I didn't realize that until I got out in the parking lot. And then uh, I looked down at the box. There was a little bit of leaking, but it didn't completely soak everything, so that's good. But this is about as much stuff I already put some of it away, but this box right here is about as much stuff as I can carry in my lap. Because uh, a lot of the stuff I buy weighs a lot. Um, it's interesting when you're on a diet that is kind of specific, avoiding um, like sugar and carbohydrates and stuff like that. Everything you buy ends up being heavy or in glass containers. Um, so, yeah. I try to go shopping if I can at least once a week just to keep everything in stock because like I said this is only about a third of the amount that I need to get right now but uh, yeah I don't know it works plus when this box is full it's about all I can manage to lift it is nice though occasionally I know there's one of you out there that's watching or listening probably that said they were gonna go shopping with me at some point so we need to do that <laughs> or set up a regular schedule for that but, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff put in the fridge. Get some stuff thrown on the grill cooking. I like to cook everything for the week if I can in advance. Which today is probably just gonna be a whole bunch of uh, chicken breast that I throw on the barbecue. And then uh, I put it in Ziploc bags and stick it in the fridge for the rest of the week.